Hi, everybody. This is Tyler from Zenata Consulting. And this week for our implementation, we're going to be talking through um, a way that we can actually sync up our deal stage here from our deals or you know potentials or opportunities, they may be called in your system, to the related contact and account. And so there's a couple of reasons that you may want to do this. Um, for one, passing the deal stage to the account is going to let you know, you know, where that account is in a given transaction. Um, you know, and more specifically, if they've hit certain milestones, right? So if we've placed a sale with them, right, we may want to define them as an active customer account, or if they've signed a service agreement or a contract, it may be good to know that, you know, at this account level, you've reached a certain agreement that could apply down to any of the contacts under that account. Um, and then when you look at the contacts, you know, and this is especially true if you have a slower sales cycle, you know, you may want to drip out some specific marketing based on where someone is in the process, right? So if I have a contact who is currently related to a deal in the media selection phase, you know, and maybe that's, we're expecting that could take about three months, you know, maybe you want to drip out, you know, five or six emails about different media options that you have, you know, just throughout that process. Um, you know, and so the first thing that we'll need to do is make sure that inside of each of these records, we have a field for the deal stage. So here inside the account, we have one, and I've just dropped them in here in an example section up at the top of the record. And then over in the contacts, we have the same thing. Right, so we have a proper stage where we can drop in this deal stage. And then looking at the deal itself, now that we have this script in place, all we need to do is go ahead and move the stage. So let's say we move this over to the design and copy draft stage. Then if we go and look at our account, we'll see that that stage is updated here appropriately. And if we look at the contact, you know, we can see the same thing where that stage is going to propagate through. So again, it's really just going to be useful, uh, you know, primarily for just keeping these records categorized and kind of filtered, um, as well as queuing in some marketing efforts out to contacts throughout your transaction. And kind of taking a quick look under the hood here, this automation just runs on a pretty simple workflow here in the deals. So we just have a, you know, whenever the stage is updated, we're triggering this workflow. And then we have a pretty quick custom function, which can, you know, write those pieces of information into the account and into the contact.